oh yeah, we're not done with this. It's I like too I'm, I've never been to the creepy pasta website. I like it out at the top. It says submit pasta. It makes me feel like this is a fucking spaghetti rating site. <laughs> like right. I, I really hope you can just send random me. pasta. You're gonna get some uh, like, linguine. Like, you're yeah, gonna get, you're get, some get some spaghetti. Bow, get some bow tie. Some noodles. I don't know. My, my my pasta is okay. It's got two cups of basil. Oh. Oh, two cups. All right, cups. that's a lot of basil, dude. <laughs> that's, that's a good amount, yeah. And then you uh, you you boil you boil some spaghetti. Okay, all right, all right. And that's it. Oh. Cool beans. <laughs> uh, this one's called Memory Card. I read ahead a little bit, kind of skimmed it, and oh my fucking god! Uh, ready? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you want to read it? Who wants to read it? Doesn't matter. I'll, I can read it. All right. All right. A few weeks ago, my parents were driving up to see my cousins. We always visit them during the summer. On the way there, we drove through a little village. Some church by the road was having a car car, car boot, boot sale. sale. I had to stop myself because I didn't think that was there. All right, they're selling car boots. <laughs> that's is, Are they that's, only meter on, maids? That's, that's, like a, that's, that's like a British thing. Or... I, I want to know if I just don't know what that well, is. A car, oh, no, no that, a car no, boots no, a thing. It like stops it your car from moving. Like It's no, not like they, they lock that's, your, car, your that's, wheel. That's, like it's there. just not like, American English. It's the, it's the trunk. It's car boot. That's Wait, just, car boot just, sale is a thing. That's just what they call uh, it. Or boot fairs are a form of market which private individuals come together and sell household and garden goods. Okay. Oh, okay. All so right. it's not as crazy as I. Okay, that's right. okay. Cool. I All learned right. something today. All right. Awesome. Thanks for teaching me something. Creepypasta.org. Um, <laughs> uh, a massive, a massive banner told us it was in aid of charity. My dad parked the car and got out. Eager to have a little sniff around. <laughs> he was a dog, by the way. Yeah, he was a dog. <laughs> My father was a German shepherd. Uh, he his name al- is Goofy. His name is Goofy. <laughs> <laughs> he always had a thing for ranking those people's... Okay, I'll stop. People, it's people's old stuff and finding hidden treasures. While he was off he was off treasure hunting, I decided to go off on my own. A li- of my own, a little wander. Okay. My own little water. My, my own little water. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, I, uh, I would have made that mistake too. It's reading aloud. You always fuck up unless you yeah. got t- like time to practice. All right, so uh, most of the stuff on sale was the usual crap: cakes, cakes, ugly crockery, <laughs> junk, etc. Junk is etc. Yeah, but he doesn't. Um, <laughs> Honestly, this one is not as oh, bad. Oh, it's not really bad. Well, the other one was was uh, not as. That one was a little more child. Yeah, it was more like a child wrote it. But this is actually like okay. Uh, someone was holding a rifle. An old woman. Raffle. Raffle. I am so stupid. <laughs> uh, someone was holding a raffle. <laughs> An old woman was. <laughs> was pa- holding a rifle. <laughs> was painting kids' faces with bullets. Just kidding. <laughs> but only seemed to know how to do one animal. There were zebra-faced kids everywhere. Zebra-faced, not classy. Yeah. I remember, I remember a couple standing out over all the happiness and sense of community. There was just a man and a woman with dead eyes taking no interest in their customers at all. All they did was just stare into the distance. Their table was f- Their James Hetfield was full of kids' <laughs> junk. <laughs> you know, toys, magazines, crap PlayStation games, the usual. There were a lot of those army men magazines games games oh wow why did i say magazines because you saw magazines over there on the previous sentence i am probably so kind of i'm so nuts so in the butt so right now all right a, a few, few sports a few sports games as well i reckon i missed all the good stuff i like how reading this is making us look dumb <laughs> <laughs> I was... hey, hey, we don't look dumb don't worry oh we... yeah we, we just look as we are. <laughs> yeah, dude. I was losing interest when I spotted an old PlayStation memory card out of the corner of my eye. None of the games interest me, but the memory card did. Written on the front in chipped tipex was the name Sam. Now this was a real hidden treasure. I bought it from the couple and tucked it into my wallet. Neither said a word or looked at me when they took my money. 
After that, I found my parents once more. Eventually, we got back in the car and were once again on our way to my cousin's house. We stayed there for a few days. I enjoyed hanging out with my cousins, so I was quick to forget about my purchase. In addition, neither had a pl- neither had a PlayStation, so it didn't matter anyway. When I got back home, I retrieved my old PlayStation from the attic and set it up. I had quite a few games too. I had all the classics: Resident Evil, uh, shit, shit, uh, uh, Metal Gear Solid. Resident oh, Evil, that, Omega that, Boost. That Omega. rap or whatever. Who did that? Like, what was Eiffel that? 65. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I want to play um, game. Play Station, Station all, all day. day. Like, God. Metal Gear Solid. Future that, Cop. That so. happened. Anyway. Oh. <laughs> however. Uh, I, I, uh, however, before I played any of them, I turned on the console without a disc in. I remembered you could do this trick. Uh, do this to check. Uh, Check out the contents of your memory card. I stuck Sam's into the slot and selected it. There was a few save files on it. Some of them were corrupt. Just strange symbols hanging there that displayed a strange series of characters instead of details. Others were games I've never heard of. Uh, However, there was one I recognized. Metal Gear Solid. It was the VR missions disc, to be precise. It said it had been completed 100%. I had both Metal Gear Solid and the VR missions, so I decided to check it out. I could remember quite a bit about the VR missions disc, but the parts that stuck out to me most were the giant soldiers, the murder mysteries, and the photo shoot mode. I remember that they were actually a lot of fun. I booted the game up. When I loaded the save, something odd happened. The title music stopped. The sound... This sounded especially weird because I had turned up the volume on my TV so I could get right into the game. But there I was, suddenly plunged into silence. Words that kill. (laughs) God. On top of that, there was no sound effects as I scrolled through the menu options. It was a little eerie, but I chalked it up to the game or the console being old and worn out. I remember that you could wait for... Oh, shit. No, you can go go ahead. Uh, Uh, I remember you could wait for Naomi's legs to uncross to take a photo in the photo shoot (laughs) mode, and there was nothing there except a blank space where the pussy (laughs) (laughs) was. I like to imagine it's like the Mario from Super Mario Brothers Super Show said that. This is an accept a blank space uh, where the pussy, pussy should have been. been. <laughs> That's right. It was a little empty void left by the creators to disappoint a million pubescent kids. Why is he? Oh, fuck, man. Why does he bother with that paragraph? Anyway. Amused, I loaded up the photo shoot mode and selected <laughs> Naomi as my model. Oh. I figured, hey, oh, I'm not getting this, but whatever. <laughs> When the level loaded, I remember thinking the music sounded a little strange. It was nothing eerie, just a little odd. Maybe it was slightly slowed down or something. Again, I chalked it up to either the game or the console's old age. Uh, where am I? It's like I made uh, Snake. I made Snake duck down and look through the viewfinder, staring at Naomi's crotch and waiting for her <laughs> to uncross the legs. <laughs> it's getting pretty spooky up in there. <laughs> I was determined to get that snap that had destroyed my perverted hopes and dreams all those years oh ago. God. It took longer than I thought, but the first time it happened, I missed it. Waiting again, I almost missed a second time. Luckily, my reflexes have been sharpened by generations of games. Is this is this going to be a creepypasta or a fucking turn into a daojinshi here? Oh, like... just you wait. <laughs> okay, I'm kind of excited now. Uh, so it was the, the click, click, gotcha, a perfect snap of the, of the little black zone where her pussy should have been. I smiled to myself and shook my head. It was funny that I had gotten so excited over something all those years ago. I was getting a little hungry, so I decided to take a break. I was about to head downstairs for some food, and I noticed something. I could hear crying. There were little sniffles and sn- and snor- Fuck, short intakes of breath. At first, I had no idea where it was coming from. 
For a moment, I noticed it was behind me, but then I realized it was coming from the game. I remember getting confused, sitting there to listen to the same voice coming from the TV speakers. I just couldn't work out why it was happening. It started getting louder and a little more hysterical. I figured it was coming from Naomi. I tilted the camera upwards, wondering what the fuck was going on. Just as I got to her face, a horrible wall tore from my speak. A well, wail, I'm sorry. I couldn't see the eye there. A yeah, horrible yeah. wail tore from my speakers and scared the shit out of me. Naomi was screaming at me. I. <laughs> Stop looking at my pussy! I Stop! Just... <laughs> I just had time to register her twisted mouth and horrible eyes when I gasped and dropped the controller. It landed on the ground on a button and the game came out of the viewfinder mode. Snake was just kneeling there in front of her. I stood there, shaking. Watching the characters seem to stare at one another. I could no longer see Naomi's face. I couldn't tell if she still had the horrible look across it. There was no one in my house. My parents were both still at work. I jumped forward and turned off the console. A little while later, I was lying on my bed thinking about the horrible face when it dawned on me that the characters in the game don't actually have eyes. Just a darker shade of pixel. <laughs> their mouths opened. Either they just nodded their heads whenever they talked. Naomi's mouth, however had been twisted open and her eyes were almost photorealistic. Oh man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck's up with that? It's photorealistic shit. <laughs> that crazy. <laughs> After a while, I convinced myself <laughs> I had imagined the horrible de- I <laughs> See, I can't even read like that. The horrible details. <laughs> you always do. You always do in situations like that. It was just some lame kid's save that he had he had someone fucked with and managed yeah someone yeah phone with yeah, 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 yeah. and managed to scare the shit out of me with. I wondered what else he had managed to do in VR missions. Later that night, when my parents were home, I finally got the nerve to turn the console back on. I selected photo shoot mode and chose Naomi as my model again. God damn it. Because fucking... I'm an idiot. When <laughs> like... the level loaded, I knew right away that something was wrong. The so... stage was empty except for Snake. Naomi was nowhere to be seen. There was no music either. Just like the title screen. I ran around a little and the footsteps sounded louder than they should have been. They sounded real too, like high quality sound effects recorded in a great hall. I really like this now that he's like... Like, he put, picked my Naomi as a model again. Like, the first time he picked her, he shouldn't have. Because he knew that you wouldn't get able to get what he wanted. <laughs> which was her, her vagina. Yes. So, now he's mad. Now he's doing it again after it was a fucking ghost. What? <laughs> <laughs> <Like, laughs> the whole thing was a little unnerving. Oh, I bet. But I kept telling myself that it was just some whiz kid stupid experiment. Still, I couldn't shake the horrible sensation that something else was at play. It was the Patriots <laughs> all along. The Patriots AI made the game not work. <laughs> made the game stupid. Uh, there was nothing on the stage except Snake. I decided to look through the camera's viewfinder again to scan the level for, well, anything. Panning around, I realized all those graphics that usually floated in the background were gone. All of that scrolling information wasn't there. The level was just floating in a black, silent abyss. Isn't that how Beer Merchants is this all the time, though? I don't know. Uh, uh -huh. Still panning, I, I suddenly spotted something in the distance. A vague shape in the darkness. <laughs> Before I could focus on what it was, it was gone. I had no idea what I saw, but it reminded me of one of those ghosts from Metal Gear Solid you could see if you took photographs in the right places. However, you could only see them when you left the game and examined the photos in the in-game photo album. God damn it, we know how the game works, you can shut up about it. <laughs> they had been really creepy. I remember when I was a kid. 
I stopped looking for them because one had scared the shit out of me. This guy has been pooping all day in his room. He went to go <laughs> eat and then came back to poop some more. Uh, still facing that horrible abyss. I hope it's now. I took a photo roughly in the space. I thought I saw something. I turned around and started taking photos all around me. A few being where Naomi was supposed to be standing. I left the game afterward. I was relieved to get out of that horrible place. The menu still wasn't playing any music. And there were still no sound effects when I scrolled through either. I'm sorry. I, yeah. Oh, when I scrolled through either. I loaded up the photo album and began to shuffle through the pictures. The first one was of the abyss that surrounded the level. Or at least I think that's what it was. It was just a black image with no features. It could just have been a loading screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there were a few more like this, too. I remember you can mess with the colors and contrast, so I played around with it, hoping I would see something. Nothing materialized. Eventually, I gave up. I scrolled across the next image, the first shot of where Naomi should have been standing. <clears throat> I was faced with... <sighs> Uh, what I was faced with was something completely different. It was a picture of a little boy tied up against a bed. Yeah. It wasn't... Wait. Uh, wait. Wait. Okay, continue. Uh, all right. It wasn't <laughs> an in-game photo, but a real one. It was a real boy. I'm a real boy on a real uh, bed. I'm sorry. On a real bed. With real ropes. The picture was slightly pixelated. How do you know it's real then? But nothing compared to the low resolution of the game. Just at the edge of the picture, I could make out a leg. <gasps> Someone was standing by the bedside. Something told me to turn the game off. Something darker told me to scroll to the next photo. I listened to the latter. The next photo made my stomach jump. Gloved hands were holding the, boy, the, the boy's <laughs> <It's> eyes. <my> <laughs> <ex. laughs> they were forcing him to look at something off camera. The boy's expression was of absolute ho terror. A part of me was glad I, could, I couldn't see what he saw. I continued scrolling. They were torturing him now, cutting open his skin and mutilating him in ways I won't describe. The photos only became <laughs> oh, more shit. and more disturbing, never letting up. Each one was worse than the last. They violated Ugh. it oh, God. and tortured his young body. I've Ugh. never seen anything like it. I never knew humans were capable of such acts. My body was shaking and my hands could barely hold on to the controller. But I kept scrolling through the pictures. I was unable to stop myself. Now imagine as the torture is happening, Ocelot's just standing there and the kid's going... <laughs> <laughs> Because like when he said gloved hands, yeah. the first thing I thought was it's just goofy in the darkness. <laughs> yeah, no, totally. It's just like, oh, here we go, Max. I came to another image. <laughs> I was relieved <laughs> to <laughs> see... No, no, no. <laughs> no. That's how far we did it. All right, so anyway, <laughs> no, <laughs> no longer of the boy. This relief, however, was short-lived. I squinted at the screen, wondering what exactly I was looking at. I hope this is it. Then it hit me. My insides did a little wet flip and I what? froze. I dropped the controller again. No buttons being pressed when it hit the floor this time. I was staring at the image, mouthing, what the fuck, to myself <laughs> over and over. I stayed like that for a while. My body completely functioned. It says I gaped at the screen. Can I put... Yeah, I need to... I need to read the next one. Okay, go for it. It was a shot of Naomi with her legs uncrossed. It was the very first photo I had taken after switching on the game. It was the photo that had started this horrible journey. Now, however, I could actually see her pussy. <laughs> it was a real image of, of a pussy. Not pixelated or anything. Just sitting right next to me in incredible detail. Oh my I god, I absolutely be... love this because he keeps saying pussy. Yeah, <laughs> not like, like it, vagina or anything. Like he just 
like fucking two paragraphs ago, he had like this graphic torture scene, and now he's just gonna keep saying the word pussy like he's a fucking Bostonian. Like, yeah. like, like what the hell? I'm gonna go to the store. I'm gonna ask if they got any pussy. <laughs> if they say they got pussy, I'm yeah, I wanna go get some pussy from the store. I'm gonna go to the pussy store and get some pussy, right? That's not even the right fucking accent. It's so fucking my cock. It's a full my cock. Oh, what? Where are we at? If I were still a teenager. Oh, sorry. If I were still a teenager, I'm sure I would have been delighted that all my hard work had paid off. I'm pretty sure every kid who tried getting a photo of her snatch back then would have felt the same. Especially when compared to the black void that too many of us actually faced. Oh, God, where where is it? I actually faced. However, I was... However, I was far from aroused (laughs) in the situation. I noticed the pussy was moving. (laughs) The pussy have started to move. Uh (laughs) Uh-oh. The pussy have started to move. I feel asleep. I feel asleep. Um, I thought I was watching a movie instead of an image. It was like some voyeur spy cam or something, and it was squelching. Ew. As I sat there, speechless, blood slowly seeped from my from the inside, tribbling over her lips and legs, ugh, and spreading <laughs> fast. When her pussy... When a pussy was completely caked in red, Naomi finally began to move her body. She was slowly leaning down towards the camera. I really don't want to see her face, but I couldn't look away. (laughs) She was screaming and staring at me with those horrible eyes. Why is that worse than the other thing? Why her eyes were... <laughs> she wasn't looking at the camera, but at me. I screamed back before she lunged. Yeah, she just started doing, like, lunge exercises, like... Yeah. All right. Out of nowhere, I found strength. As I watched my arm shoot from my body and hit a the rocket. power button, her scream cut short. The screen went blank. I tore the memory card from its slot and held it as if it was some potent drug. I realized I was breathing heavily. I kept staring at the name Sam and the white tipex as my lungs gradually relaxed. I never plugged it back in. Uh, that was the last time I ever played VR missions. I still have the memory card in my drawer, but I daren't open it. A part of me wants to bind the damn thing. But the other part of me won't let me. (laughs) So, bind the damn thing? He wants to lock it up, I think, is what he means, because he's British. (laughs) Part of me just wants to, like, cast slow on it. (laughs) Yeah, I'm going to cast a spell binding. Maybe one day I'll give it another go, just to see how messed up the rest of the game is. For some reason. (laughs) <laughs> Perhaps I'll buy some other games and see how fucked up Sam's saves for them are. Why? Maybe I'll try to figure out what games those other corrupted saves are for. Maybe. But for now, well, the memory card can stay in that drawer until I'm ready. Unknown. Oh my god. A ghost wrote this. Oh, shit. Do you want to read the comments? Yeah. I would love to read the comments about the pussy, <coughs> the fucking pussy. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah, um, I guess I gotta open them. Twelve comments. The ending was pretty cliche. You could have added more to it. It was good until then, but the video game creepy pastas are hard to make. What? Uh, it's still pretty good overall, except the ending. All right. I don't think they're that hard to make. Really not. Um, I love that you made a pussy <laughs> seem horrifying. I couldn't even see myself being scared of a pussy. <laughs> you know, you you said that right, Toha, <laughs> or the damage, as I call you. That's right, Spark Plug. We're gonna go get that pussy at the club, and it's gonna be horrifying what we're gonna do to it. <laughs> <laughs> 
That made my insides <laughs> twist. Overall, really good, except for the ending and a few spelling errors. It gave me tiny chills, but it wasn't very scary. Good job, though. It was an interesting read. I'm Dracula. I just went back and played Metal Gear Solid. Still an amazing game. Also, I love how you use the word PUSSY over five <laughs> times. <laughs> it's like some, it's actually really fun to just yell at like your fucking stupid like Jersey Shore <laughs> shit. It's really fun actually. <laughs> I like the idea uh, to make a horror story of Metal Gear Solid. And I think the, that someone played on the memory, uh, The Legend of Zelda, AMD, uh... Link was so fucked up, it wasn't, it was unreal! Uh, or that, uh, is what I've heard anyway. Okay, huh. What? I don't know what he's talking about. I'm not sure what he's, he, he might be talking about another creepypasta that's, like, similar. Yeah. I don't know. It's funny when you read something in here and you've experienced it, but no, you didn't. He did experience the pussy! Before. Maybe he's talking about, like, just waiting for Naomi to cross her leg and taking a picture or something. Maybe that's something yeah. he did. He might, he might be one of those guys that did that. The ending was a bit disturbing, but it was good. Just thinking about Naomi's ending makes me wince. <laughs> kind of messed up, but eh, 6 out of 10. Maybe 7 out of 10. Yeah, 7 out of 10. <laughs> 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 I like how like he fought with himself <laughs> just in, the t- in, the t- in his own comment. He's like, yeah, it's kind of messed up. Give it a 6 out of 10. Okay. Yeah, 7 well, out of 10. No. Yeah, 7 I out of 10. Know. Yeah. What puts it over a 6? Eh, you know. <laughs> I wish I could see Naomi's pussy! <laughs> then get some shit scared out of me! Come on! <laughs> Sorry, didn't see the previous comment post. <laughs> this ain't one of your fancy schmancy creepy posters. I wish I could say <laughs> Naomi's pee! <laughs> and then get the shit scared. Oh, it's the same one again. He just he just censored himself. Like, like, don't you love that when someone accidentally double posts and they triple they post again to be like, oh shit, I double posted. It's like yeah. stop it, just stop. Post, post, double post, post <laughs> triple <laughs> post. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, quad post. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Quince. <laughs> Ooh, wow. That's, that was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I, I was like r- skimming through it and I just saw the word pussy a million times. <laughs> and I had to. I just had to. It's it's so funny. Just like, like just, <laughs> I didn't know a pussy could be so scary. You know what I mean? I ain't never been scared of the pussy before. Yeah, spook my boner clean off. <laughs> I've seen a rookie. He got his boner... <laughs> Boot. He was <laughs> never the same. You gotta have some experience. If you're walking on on a horse scene, you might get your bonus spook. <laughs> get your bonus spook. Get your bonus croc, spook. I'm gonna use a right big croc, mate. <laughs> I can't like I keep slipping out of Boston into like this fucking Cockney, and it's weird. Usually, yeah. I'll run down to the bar, <laughs> pick up a chick, and a pussy ain't scary at all. <laughs> Ain't got no fangs or crazy bat well, wings or not nothing. until I wake up. <laughs> that spooked my boner clean off. Went back to space, it did. My bonus from space. <laughs>